vlog notes. I missed you. I've got all my photo sessions finished. It was a very busy photography season this fall. So I have finally finished editing. I have shipped it off to the client. So I am ready to do more LUD videos. We are going to start off with my favorite winter lug bag. Can you see it? It's right there. Any ideas? It's the zip liner. I have got two zip liners. I broke my rule for this bag. Um, I did it for good reason though, because I really, really, really want a mini backpack that is a floral print. Um, if Amy would give us the mini Orbit and say like bouquet black or even bouquet blue, oh my goodness, I'd be so happy. But we don't have that yet. So I got the amber yellow zip liner. I really wanted to try amber yellow. It was a very risky um, purchase for me because I don't like solids. It's a, It's got a couple of scratches on it. I don't know if you can see that in camera, but anyway. Um, oh yeah, there's a big scratch there. And then it also has like, it got stained pretty good. And I used to be able to clean the stains really easily with just some laundry cleaner. Um, but uh, I just gave up because I'm lazy and it just kept getting dirty again and again and again. So I don't know, someday I'll give it a good wipe down. But, uh, but for right now, I just use it day in, day out. Dirty. Let's get into the bag. So reason number one, I love the zip liner. Even as just like a shoulder bag, it is super cute. Just this little hobo bag. When I first saw this zip liner on their website, I thought those pockets looked really like, like they just stood out really badly. But now that I have it and I know, I understand love better and I know like the puddle jumper is their signature look. I love these pockets because it's like a nod to look. This is their signature look. So I really, really like that. Obviously I love that converts to a backpack, super fast and simple. And still looks really cute. It still has that slouchy look to it, which I quite like. I feel very fashionable with my zip liner. Um, it also has these little rings on it, which are handy for my little hand sanitizer pack. And it's also handy to hold my cold black heart. If you all wanna have a little heart pouch on there for whatever reason, that is adorable! I'm keeping that there. It's only got my headphones in it, I really don't need it, but whatever. So the front of the bag, we've got these two little magnetic flaps. I love having magnetic flaps on my purses because I need somewhere to stuff my receipts really quickly as I'm leaving the store. So I enjoy having those there. Then we've got two pouches here, two pockets. I use one of them just to keep like my lotion, my lip balm, and the other one holds my Kleenex. So those are very handy, having those right on the outside of the bag for just the little things that you need all the time. Um, something I'm noticing that Lug is doing now is uh, these type of pockets end up being really tight together, so it's difficult to get access to, like say to that zipper there. But on the zip liner, these pockets have a good distance between them. So it's easy to you know find your zipper and get at it without bumping into the other pocket. So that's another pro for this bag. We have got a pocket right here on the front. I believe this is the RFID pocket. Yes, it is. I have in the past kept my wallet in here. The tram actually fits really well in here. The kick flip, not so much. Tram. Fits super well. So if you want to use the main or the main interior of the bag for say books or clothes or whatever, you're better off to use the trim and just stuff it in that front pocket, the RFID pocket. I at the moment am just using my new Camo Rose kick flip, which I love, but it doesn't fit in here as easy. It's a little bit too wide, but that's okay. So anyway, that stays in the main compartment and I just keep my sunglasses in here. One thing I do wish this bag had is an extra soft line pocket. We just have the one soft line pocket for your cell phone and that's it. My favorite thing about some of my other love bags is when they've got like four soft line pockets. I know that's excessive, but it's just something that's nice to have for things like sunglasses, readers, extra devices. So yeah, that is one of my cons for the zip liner. No, no soft line pocket for your glasses. So they just get to live in that front pocket there without a wallet. And then of course we have our signature cell phone pocket that we all know and love. Very easy to get in and out of there. On the opposite wall of the cell phone pocket is these two, there's two cargo pockets there. So because they're separated right in the middle, I find that the phone doesn't get stuck on whatever's behind it. That happens a lot in, uh, in some of my love bags, which isn't the end of the world. It just can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So in the zip liner, you're not gonna have that problem. The phone goes in and out really smoothly. The only time I find it doesn't go in and out really smoothly is when the bag is like empty and it's sitting on the floor, you know, and I go to put my phone in the, Thing and it just like hits the floor. 
that's about it. Otherwise, I'm really happy with the cell phone pocket. On the back here, we have got, I believe, yes, this is where the pen pocket is. So you can see I've got my pen on that side. I just keep my makeup back here, my little lip balms, or I mean lip stains and whatnot. Uh, which brings me to my next point. Another thing I love about lug bags is when they have a clear view pocket on the inside because then I can keep my lip stains in there and uh, and they look really pretty. But this one does not have any clear view pockets so uh, it's a lot easier to lose stuff in here. So I wish it did have that, but that's okay. Here's like my favorite, I guess my second favorite feature about the zip liner other than it converts to a backpack is that the it has not only an insulated pocket but it's hidden, it's tucked in there. If you're not using it, no big deal. You barely notice it on the inside. If you do need it, um, it's insulated, so it actually keeps your water cold or whatever you need, like snacks, or I know medication has to be kept cold sometimes. So I love that. I love that it's so discreet. Um, you know, I always love Lug's water bottle pockets, but sometimes I do find them just a little bit bulky. Um, so I love that on this bag, it's a totally discreet pocket. Let's move to the inside. So inside the bag, you can see we have got, this is the insulated pocket, so it is quite flat. It often just, if I don't have anything in there, it just gets tucked against the side and you don't even notice it. Back here, we've got a privacy pocket. So I keep my little checkbook in there, or if that's uh, where you want to keep your pads and tampons, that's a nice privacy pocket to have there. Um, in this corner, we have got stupid key bungee that I hate. Um, I actually am just keeping my fiance's key on there for now so that I can get into his car all the time. And then on the front wall, we've got these two stretchy cargo pockets. Now they actually are the perfect size for say a kickflip. Um, so you could have like a kickflip, like a wallet in one, um, you know, whatever else you need in the other and then you still have this main cavern available, which is still quite huge. Like, I mean, here's my sleeper in camo rose. And obviously that goes in with like tons of room to spare. I wonder if I can find a giant book. This is my fiance's action Bible. And it fits. And you would never know. I also have it in blue and black. This is the one that I got because I just needed that floral print tiny backpack and I do love it. Although if I'm being honest, I reach for the amber yellow a lot more often. It's just such a happy color. But anyway, this is still very beautiful. Um, now I also wanted to show you, I have got the uh, Splits XL wallet, which is very similar to the Kickflip, but this wallet does schmoosh very tightly into that RFID pocket. So if that is something that you are concerned about, um, just know that a, well, I don't have anything in here, keep in mind, this was packed with a phone and all my cards, it might be a little bit tighter. Um, but it does fit in the RFID pocket of the zip liner, just barely. Fun fact, in Manitoba in November, the sun sets around 4.30, so I ran out of light last night. So it is now Sunday. Let's continue. So I am typically a crossbody kind of gal. Um, I just like how they look like a purse. Um, so I normally wouldn't gravitate towards the backpack. But in the winter, when you've got a big parka hood on your coat and you try to get your crossbody off, you end up stuck, your strap gets stuck in your parka hood. And then you just make an idiot out of yourself in the parking lot. So, and this is why the zip liner is my favorite winter bag. Because when you want to go crossbody, you pop it into a backpack, throw it over your parka, look adorable, and take it off without being weird. So I'm not going to do a color comparison with the amber yellow, I've already done that. Uh, if y'all want to see, you can go check out my hatchback video, I will throw the link in the comments. Today we are going to compare the blue and black prints to all of my other prints and solids. Let's start by comparing the two floral black prints that they have. We've got blue and black and bouquet black. They do look very similar, but obviously this one's got a lot more black in it, whereas this one is just all flowers. Shimmer pink goes with a lot of things. It's a very nice neutral, but there's actually little hints of this like light pink color right in blue and black, so they are a perfect match. Here it is with the new blush. It's not the exact same shade of pink, but it's really close. They still look super good together. I wouldn't put it with Yester blush though. This is that uh, crinkle blush fabric that they used to have. Uh, they're not the same color at all. In fact, I find that this kind of clashes with all these more brighter pinks down here, which I'm not sure if that is orchid 
or rose, because I don't have anything in orchid or rose, but it's like a purpley pink, so I would guess that would be more orchid. Lug has so many shades of pink, it's crazy. Here I have got my powder pink steamboat, which is so pale pink, it's almost a white. Once again, still looks really good with blue and black. While we're throwing all these pinks out there, let's just do that. I don't know, print with a print. Is this a fashion faux pas? I still think it's pretty. Another print I do not hate with blue and black is the Mystic Sea Glass. There's a lot of like teals in here and this is obviously like a tealy purple print itself. So I mean, a little tram in here. Oh, that'd be so cute. You would think that there are more blues in here, but we have got my Cobalt Kick Whip here and there are no blues. We are, we're mostly dealing with teals and aquas here. This is my Ocean Transport which is a very good match. Emerald Courier, also a very good match. This is a little bit more green than the teals we have in here, but still not bad. And finally, Aqua. This is my Aqua Petal Jumper. Now, if it wasn't for these bright coral zippers on this bag, these would probably be a very good match. In fact, the lighter color in these flowers is absolutely Aqua. I'm 100% sure that that's where Amy pulled that color from. So if you have any aqua accessories that maybe don't come with the coral zippers, these would go really well together. We've also got some concords in here. Oh, that's really dark. There are definitely concord purples in bloom black. Promise. The greens that we have in here are definitely not olive green. Olive green is a lot darker. Ooh! How much do you love those two together? We've got Olive and the new blush. So there we go. There's my babies, my favorite winter bag. Another reason actually that this works for me for winter is because I don't need a pocket to put my keys in um, because I have my jacket pocket to put my car keys in. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't like this bag in the summer very much because I like having that water bottle cargo pocket to just drop my keys into. Although that being said, they do have a key bungee inside the bag and it would be really easy to throw your keys into these, so not a big deal. If you're on the fence about the zip liner, I highly recommend you just get it anyway. It's one of those bags that when you first look at it online, you're like, what? But once you get it home and you get it packed and you get using it, you will absolutely fall in love with it. It is awesome. All right, that's all I got for you. Take off, eh?